the married wives, they were given in marriage until the day Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. The generation that precedes the coming of the destruction of the world is the generation that marries, the generation of coalition. We are already stepping into that generation. For the Lord brought his word to me. And he said, not too long from now, less than five years from now, there shall no longer be presidents of nations. There shall be presidents of the uniting of nations. I will expand on that word as we continue. The generation that has been reviewed by the sound of the spiritual lamb is the generation of the sword. But on earth, that generation will look like the generation of coalitions. Now we see two contradictions here. The Lord is bringing division. The nation is united. And opposite to what the Lord is doing in the spirit. He is bringing division. At 12 midnight, we would now know the virgins that are wise and the virgins that are foolish. There is a division at 12 midnight. The generation of the Lord is a generation that will separate Two brothers will turn father against son and son against father. It's a generation of division, but on earth it's going to look like a generation of coalition. So the Bible said that generation will marry. Two will become one in that generation. Meanwhile, in the spirit, it's a generation that's separating men from each other. So the Lord is separating, but the generations or the earth is telling the people to marry. Going against what the Lord is doing in the spirit. The Lord is separating the generation. The world is telling the people that now is the time for marrying. Now is the time for a coalition. Now is the time for the joining of hands among nations. So and this simple, this simple thing is going to determine where each and every one of us will stand. Or trans, or trans, Lord, help me. So Yeshua Mashiach himself said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Because in that generation they did eat, they drank, they took wives for themselves, and they were given into marriage. A generation of partnership. Meanwhile, the generation of the Lord, from the Lord's perspective, is a generation of separation. I pray 20 persons understand what I'm saying. I pray. I pray, I pray, I pray you understand. In Matthew 25, 6, 7, they were all virgins. But when the trimming of lamp began, 8, now say, and the foolish said. So they were all together slumbering. They were all together backslidden. They Alarm sounded, and the one saddled with the responsibility of sounding that alarm gave his cry at 12 midnight. The exact time that separates the old from the new, the passing from the coming, and at that time he sounded an alarm. And he told the people, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go. And meet him. And they all stood up as, as virgins. 
but at the trimming of lambs, the foolish were separated from the wise. We are entering the trimming of lambs. The shofar sounded. Israel is the shofar. We are at 12 midnight in the spirit. The one saddled with responsibility of sounding the alarm has sounded. If you have eyes, you can look upon Israel and see the alarm sounding. The Pentecostal, the Roman Catholic, everyone has backslidden with falling asleep. But now is the awakening. And the awakening began in 2020 as I prophesied to you that year. And we are about to step into the year of seats. The year of thrones. Now the Lord says to me to tell everyone, trim your lamp because we are in the generation where the wise will be separated from the foolish. It, it is at the porch of the trimming of the lambs. At the hallway of the trimming of the lambs shall the wise be separated from the foolish and the foolish separated from the wise. And all these things are happening at twilight. That is when all these things are happening. Because as soon as we step into the era of the Lord, the gate will be closed. The gate will not be closed because the Lord now came. The gate will be closed spiritually before the Lord manifests himself. As soon as we enter the generation where the wise whose lamp has been trimmed have finally entered into the banquet of the Lord. Even though the Lord has not been seen in this world, the spiritual gate will be closed. So the foolish will come back and they will now discover that their job has now rendered them unable to enter into the kingdom of God. They will be going to church but they will get to a point where they are now unable because they have now married. They have now married, so they are now unable. Not that the trumpet has sounded or Jesus has finally come, but the gate has been shut. And you say, Apostle, Prophet, what do you mean? What I said, I'm telling you a mystery in the spirit. When the selection has been made, the gate will be closed. The opportunity to trim your lamp will be gone. So anything you are doing after the wise have been marked by the Lord, after they've been marked, anything you are doing will not achieve much anymore. Because trust me, you will stand at the gate and knock. And that gate will no longer be opened. Because even though you were part of the virgins, you'll be unable to enter. How many prophets and witnesses are saying these things. Only a few. We are in the twilight generation. Can't you sense the alarm? Can't you sense the burden? Can't you sense it that you can no longer sleep? A Messiah has already appeared in Israel. You think it's coincidence? The whole of Israel is already saying Messiah is here. They are already preparing. And yet you don't see that as the shofar sounding were in twilight. And the people are going anti the prescription of the Lord. The Lord said the generation of the sword. Earth said the generation of marriage. The Lord said the generation of separation. Earth said the generation of the coming together. The Lord said, do not think I came to bring peace but a sword. It's a generation of the word of the Lord. What's the sword of God? The sword of God is the word of the Lord. If the word of the Lord is what separates, if it's the word of the Lord, it must divide. He said, when Yeshua spoke, the crowd was divided. The word of the Lord is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing into what? Dividing. It must divide. 
The generation of the Lord is going to be the generation of the sword from the mouth of God that will separate the nations. And when that sword comes, your spiritual father's understanding of Christianity would put you, him against you, whose understanding will be different from his. It's not a generation of loyalty. It's a generation of division. And then father will give children to be killed. Children, fathers to be killed. Because at the porch of the trimming of the lamb, the foolish will be separated from the wise. And it is in this twilight that we see spiritual sons now rise against their father. And spiritual fathers now rise against their son. And denominations rise against each other. Prophets against prophets. Because some will hear or out of the order. Some will hear from the order of the wise virgins. Some will prophesy by the order of the wise virgins. Some others will prophesy from and by the order of the foolish virgins. So we teach from the stream of the wise virgins. Others will teach from the stream of the foolish virgins. And then they will be put against each other. And guess what the foolish virgins will do? They would go and marry to the world. To buy. They will go there. And so. We are in the end of days. And the end of days. Is going to be two generations. It's going to be Moses standing and then the golden calf. And then a call is going to be given. He that's on the Lord's side, separate yourself. You were parting with them, but now separate yourself. Two generations are going to exist in one. The generation of the sword and the generation of the marriage. The generation of the sword is what the Lord is going to be doing with this church. The generation of the marriage is what the world is going to be doing with the people. And we are in that generation. It's breaking upon us. It's literally breaking upon us. The generation of the sword is already separating prophets from each other. The prophets of Babel and the prophets of Zion. The teachers of Babel and the teachers of Zion. It's already causing the division. So what do you prophesy and say? Hey, yes, this we should be united. No, it's the generation of the division. It's the generation of the sword. And the people that will preach that unity is the generation of Noah that is marrying and giving into marriage. The Lord is saying separate, separate. They are saying marry, marry. Let the two become one. The Lord is saying no. Let each one stand on their own. They are saying no. Let the two become one. It's a generation of the cause. Because they will be drunk in their deception until the separated ones enter into the ark. So we see two things happening. The wise virgins are trimming their lambs, preparing to go and meet Yeshua HaMashiach. Noah is building an ark. Two things are happening simultaneously. The foolish virgins are going to buy. They are going to marry themselves with the world. They are going to take from the world. And say, okay, we are going to come back when we are done buying, trading, marrying to the world. And then also the generation of Noah, they were marrying themselves, ignoring the labors of Noah. I, Prophet Joel Ogebe, and the brethren of the house of Salem, bears witness to this word, that this word is true, and this word is the word of the Lord. <laughs> this is not the sermon. This is a prophetic body. Blessed are you who share this broadcast. Blessed are you. This is the best platform I can, I can use to say these things. Blessed are you. The Lord says this. The government of this world is at its last 
lap. The governments of this world is at its last lap. Enjoy what you call government. Enjoy what you call presidency. Enjoy it because this is the last of its kind. A reset is coming. One of the signs that the Lord gave me is that something called the great blackout of Europe would happen. What he spoke to me about this year is already happened. When I prophesied by the Lord that rivers will be dried and the people insulted. Now he's giving me these prophetic bodies. And I pray the people hear it. I can't sleep anymore. He troubles me on my bed. He said, tell the people, they are stepping into the year of thrones, the year of the trimming of the lamb. I have sounded the shofar in Israel. The prophets should look upon Israel. They should hear the shofar sounding there. We are at twilight, 12 midnight. The old is passing. The new is here. Tell the people to trim their lamb. I have brought a sword on it. That's dividing the people. Yet, the world is telling them, no, marry. Don't build your ark. Marry. Meanwhile, the Lord is saying, separate. They are marrying and giving it to marriage. Joining themselves. Meanwhile, the word of God is coming to separate the people. And after the one who cried, 12 midnight, gave out that cry. And all of them woke up from their slumber. Some still had reserve enough to trim their lamp. And it's at the trimming of the lamp we now saw the separation between the wise and the foolish. So he spoke to me again today. He said the governments of this world is at, as, at its last lap. He said very soon you shall no longer hear of presidents of nations. You are going to hear of presidents of unified nations. You are no longer going to hear of presidents of single nations. It's going to be a unified nation and then one president. So we are entering the generation, says the Lord, that the presidents of this world will now become very few. It's a generation of marriage for the nations. It's a generation of separation for the church. Because the nations will always go against the church. And the, 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 the church, the only church that will look like the nations is the church of the foolish virgins. And we are seeing it already. When I was preparing for this broadcast, he said, do not say the end of the world. For the end of the world is already occurring in many aspects. The Lord said to me, say, say the end of reasoning, the end of education as it was known, the end of reasoning as it was known, the end of politics as it was known, the end of society as it was known, because the end of the world is the end of many things, the passing away of many things. And indeed, the word of the Lord is true, because it's not just the end of the world. We are now seeing the end of society. The end of reasoning. The end of education as it was known. The end of entertainment as it was known. When I was preparing for the broadcast, he said, do not say the end of the world. Tell them the end of society. Everything is ending. Twilight already. So it's a generation of the sword. I didn't plan to come on to, to come live this night. But I was moved from my bed. I can no longer sleep anymore. So this is the word of the Lord to the church of Christ. The Lord said, it's going to be the church of the sword. As the nation steps into the year of thrones from 2023. And kings are proclaimed. Other kings are deposed. He said the church is going to step into the age of the sword. The age of the word of God. The age of the word of God versus the word of the priests 
the corrupt priest of men, the age of the sword. That's the next phase of the church of Christ. And that age will be sustained until the Lord comes. It is the age of the separation. The age that will cause spiritual father to rise against spiritual son. The age that will put brothers against brothers.